this jihad, according to these sorts of sources, the sacred texts, the jurisprudence, the traditions, and the practice going back some 1400 years that make up the authoritative doctrine known as Sharia. Jihad means one thing. And you may have heard from such Muslim scholars as George W. Bush and Barack Obama that what it means is personal struggle to be the best Muslim you can be. But all of these sources say it actually means holy war. And it manifests itself in things like this. Of course, one of the iconic, horrible moments of violent jihad against us. Uh, in this, the attack uh, described by our government as workplace violence, a massacre brought by a jihadist, a man who said he was a jihadist, not only on the occasion and afterwards, but in the run-up to it, in his presentations to some of his comrades in arms, that he was going to kill them in order to defend his faith against what they were going to do to Muslims in Afghanistan. Then, of course, recently this episode of jihadists trying to murder people engaging in the exercise of free expression in our country. Um, but I want to get at something else which is really important, and that is that if you're not powerful enough as a Muslim to engage in jihad, and let me emphasize, not all Muslims buy that they're supposed to do this. They don't embrace Sharia. They don't believe that it is their God-directed way to conduct themselves. But if they do, if they do believe that God has ordered them to engage in jihad to achieve the submission of the rest of the world, but they're just not powerful enough to do it, the preferred way, the violent way, what are they supposed to do then? Well, these guys, the Muslim Brotherhood, have a program that they recommend. They call it Civilization Jihad. What is it? Well, it's been described in a document that was providentially discovered in a secret sub-basement in a suburb of Washington, D.C., not far from where Ace and Tony and Claire live, Annandale, Virginia, as a result of a truly providential traffic stop back in 2004. This document is a secret plan that the Muslim Brotherhood did not expect us to ever see. It was meant as a report from their senior leadership here in the United States back to the mothership in Egypt. And among other things, it laid out how the Muslim Brotherhood was going to accomplish this mission statement. I don't know if you can read it, but it says the following, that they are engaged, the Brotherhood, in America in a kind of civilization jihad, in eliminating and destroying Western civilization from within. By their hands, meaning ours, and the hands of the believers so that God's religion is made victorious over all other religions. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't consider that to be particularly friendly or benign or the kind of attitude that you think of as the sort of people that you can safely do business with. These are some of the examples of what civilization jihad involves in practice. I'm going to talk a little bit about the first in detail, but let me just mention a couple of, uh, uh, I'll hit the second one actually too, educational vehicles, figuring out ways to get inside our academic institutions to promote a favorable understanding of Islam and diminish more realistic view of what the jihadists are up to, uh, getting Sharia into our courts, Hidra um, colonization of America, interfaith dialogue, Sharia compliant finance. These are lots of different pieces. We don't have time tonight to go into